56-year-old Florencia Cepeda has been homeless for nine months. But three months ago, she came to Paseo when she got word that the government was going to open a shelter. I don't know what to go. In tears, she says she was told just today, along with dozens of other homeless people, like 67-year-old Peter Marriott, to get out of Paseo by the end of the day. Not much of a notice, you know, and uh, it leaves us uh, with no hope. We don't know where to go. Hopeless and homeless, Marriott and his roommate were kicked out of their home by their landlord in March. He's been living at the Paseo since then. This is my first experience uh, being homeless. Um, so uh, it's really, it's really a hard life. Uh, I hope that uh, their eyes will open and do something for us. As we reported, the initial plan was to have a homeless tent shelter at the Paseo, complete with catered meals and Wi-Fi. But after word from the feds, plans changed to instead move towards securing a hardened shelter. We've had to amend our plans four times already uh, to try and uh, meet the kind of the situation going on right now. Mm -hmm. um, and I would just tell you honestly that uh, we're still working. It's still we're behind schedule. This is one area that uh, we I don't feel that we're ahead yet. Lieutenant Governor Josh Tenorio says active procurement is underway and hopes to have a better answer by Monday. And fortunately for the homeless at Paseo, they don't have that kind of time. I have a disability and I feel neglected in ways of uh, getting us into a safe um, habit, you know, shelter where so we don't catch the virus, but instead we're left behind. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Sabrina Salas, Matanani.